Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Yeah, is such a bad day today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what the hell? You're not going? Artyomich, so, if it's culture you want, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. Well, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. For each campaign, a lot of people in the Reich are accused of being mutants. Why? Well, if you enlist, they acknowledge you as a person. But anyone deemed unnecessary is chased off or hung. So you're here. Is it all of you, or more coming? We're all here. Two trains, as agreed. Our people from the first one, did they get permission to enter? Still waiting. They're giving our chief help, but there's nothing he can do about it. So, maybe while they're talking, you could let us in? No, we can't. Sorry, that's forbidden, without a permit. How about just the kids? And leave the parent here? No, you better just wait there. But you did let the first group in. No, they're sitting on their train at the transfer track. Be grateful you're on the platform where you have some space. Understood. Listen, everyone. Our stay permits are still being negotiated, so they told us to wait here. What about the kids? They need rest. How long do we have to wait here? Yes, how long? I can't wait no more. I gotta pee! Silence! How could they this told us to wait, We've so been we in the wait. Rake all our lives, However long and now we're freaks? Ugh, this happens all the time. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time, it's us. Would be long before Führer has the station to himself. But what do we do now? Live! And be glad we won't have our skulls measured every day. Oh, I'm, I'm fainting. Hard to breathe. <sighs> Calm down. Take a breath. Everything is alright. Everything is fine. She is having a breakdown. We spent 20 years at the Reich, and now we're freaks. The boss is busy now. Wait here, please. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And revolution is spitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through, and you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome, and have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Who does that? Is it so hard to either accept us or send us up? Our way. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. Oh, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There is a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants, for Christ's sake. All are welcome here, even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Bolshoi. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. 
But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests the well-fed. But my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art. For thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But sadly, true art is 20 years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Ah, so there are still men, not just marionettes. I disgust myself. Here we sit, the drinks, the party lights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. Death and decay. That's exactly why we need theater. A drink and a show warms your body and soul. <laughs> Without that, ah, we may as well end Feast in the time of plague. Honey, there are only so many tickets. So, when does our guest arrive? The masked one with the scythe. Any minute now. So drink up. Cheers. Wow. One there is a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeon. Is it something new? He told me all so, about this thing. Is it mushroom? Is mushroom thought? Hey! Why? Why? What happened? But really, there is a dumb independence. How? We were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. No one suffered the scratch. But Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. And you, you left him there to die! No, Katya, we tried to save him, but it was too late. No, Vitya! We buried him in a good place. We put white stones on the grave. Let her be. To witness tonight's extravaganza! Wow. That's a demon! So scary, oh, just like the real chance. thing! Give a demon! Look at it flapping its wings! It's attacking! No, Dad says it flaps its wings like this when taking off. And my dad saw lots of demons. We're right, Uncle Misha, this is a demon? Well, it's... Alright, let it be a demon. But there used to be birds like this. Birds? Are they mean like demons? No. They were beautiful. Some were big, but smaller than demons. Birds didn't attack people. They would wake you in the morning with their songs. Now, what animal is this one? Could it be an osalis? The nose is too big, though. Surge, did your dad tell you about beasts like that? No. And he was everywhere. Even the library. Even the park. He saw a bear once. <gasps> Is this a bear, Uncle Misha? It's an elephant. You saw them in Were the Were elephants scary? Could the Nasalises be what's left of them? The elephants, oh, they were large. But they never attacked first. Only when they were provoked. But if they got mad, they could stomp you. That's just like a Nasalis. Dad says if a big Nasalis starts running, she stomps everything in their path. She'll even stomp her own kids. Well, they could be real. They had elephants at the zoo at all. Well, they definitely are smaller now if they are the Nasalises. And what kind of bird is this? That's this one. Look at its long neck. I know that bird. It was in a book. And Mama has a picture of it with those numbers in the corner. She has it hanging on the wall. A glitch now, that is a swan. And why are you boys keeping silent? You saw the book and saw the calendar on Thomas. I thought it was some kind of mutant. Me too. 
It does look like the picture in the book, but this one was moving. Look, boys. Try imagining that there's still... Well... All right. Who is this? This is definitely Spider-Bug. Look at its mandibles. Oh, isn't no, it No, no, it's a goat. Just like on that picture. Are those it's horns the poison? Horns. It's Does it scary. grab you with those? <gasps> Does it hate my too? Mama says it butts you with these. I'm so afraid of goats. Goats are worse than spider bugs. They aren't afraid of light. You know, Katya, that really is a goat. But it's not scary at all. And it won't butt you for no reason. Anyway, it's a really useful animal. Their milk is so tasty. <laughs> Was. Uncle Misha, Kat is the only one who knows these strange animals. Show us something we know too, or it's not fair. Yeah, show something we know. All right. You recognize this one. Who's first? Me, me. It's a lurker. Look at it snap its jaws. It's yes, gonna jump out of its hole. That's a lurker for sure. Sorry, children. I used to know how to show those animals, but I got old. Let me take a rest. Don't I'll lose your try again later. Give yourselves and your I'll try to recall how to show them, so that you'll understand. There are only so many tickets. My papa is a stalker. He'll get me one of those dogs. My dad is a pilot. He'll get me a hundred. Well, mine said he'd get it tomorrow. Mom says when he comes back, if I behave, but he's not coming back until later. Ah, oh, so it's not going to be soon? Let's go to Natasha's then and play with her doll for now. Let's go! What should I have said? I don't know. The legend of the Metro! Chasing you. Anyway, two centimeters isn't much. Not for you, maybe. You can join the army and be a citizen again. But your dependents get tired. There are only so many tickets. The Bolshoi Theater, the pride of Russia, the legend of the Metro. Tonight only, a unique program. Ballet, entertainment. So, Nikitish, when do we become your father? Have you got enough money to last a week? Well, come Find back if you need for your safety. Protect yourself and your loved ones. Then my life is over. It took so long to save up. Now, oh, well, good riddance. Go to this day. Incendiary grenades! Guaranteed to keep your enemy warm. You can still make it to stalkers, instead of mere aids. Look, I got well, money for three days. Some drinks are on me. You're always welcome here. This is great stuff. The best you'll find. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. You can drink anywhere. This is a theater. Anything goes. But hey, I won't twist your arm. Just don't come back in ten minutes. When you change your mind, it all be gone. Wait a minute, I gotta think. Think faster. Look, there is another tourist there. If you don't buy this, he's sure to. Throwing knives, silent and deadly. All right, all right, I'm taking it. Eh, uh, thanks, man. If not for you, I'd never get this sucker to buy. If you want some for yourself, come back in the evening. I'm waiting for a new supply. Oh, it's another stuff. This price is around, I promise.
spend the entire day this in year. my place. This guy can prove I was here since this morning. Get up with this. You people the first time we're having a kid sleep like this. If you're so honest, then just sell us some standing room. I'm gonna restart you. Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the theater. Hey, you! Stop! Show me your tickets! But you are an entirely different subject. Hey, who's hitting who? Did you hear that? Oh, sure. We're coming. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Maestro, if you'd be so kind. The can can. this before. I feel sorry for the other performance now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race part of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beast, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. When they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bar. A round of applause, please!
for you. The harp of my soul will never sound the same. Your music has touched strings with so much power. <laughs> and thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean. The most scorching spectacle of today. Our fire show! A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please! Please! Mind-blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charmed. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Victor Minchuk with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. My legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs>
Yes! That definitely was the musical innovation of the century! Incredible! Completely incredible! My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Mosca underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Bozarni. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweets. Artyom! No? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on, you patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorvich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Helen, no, что? I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. No, he's reliable and doesn't waste his money. In that case, you should just marry him. He won't propose. He's too cheap for that, too. Fool. We're just testing our love. Yeah, yeah. And in the meantime, he made you some powder by scratching the ceiling. At least I have a man of my own, instead of selling myself at the bar. You'd do it, too, if anyone would buy. Girls, enough quarreling. The prompt belt's going to go off soon. So what? I'm not going on stage with her. You better. You've nowhere else to go since the freak show left the station. You bitch. Knock it off. No fighting here or on stage. Okay, let's let it go. No, it's not okay. What? Should I call Petrovna? No, please don't. Then finish your makeup. It's our call soon. What's going on? What else? Another war. Looks like the fucking commies are going to fight the Reich again. Shit. Is war all they know? Instead of wasting ammo on each other, they could be wiping out the vermin. They don't give a shit about that. The Nosalis has butchered my father. Who cares? No one. So how are we supposed to live? Or is our children? If the monsters don't kill them, other men will. This is what I'm saying. Why go on? Say after day. Why can't it just end? Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive. Huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are. Do over a special from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. Opa! That's great! So, let's drink, Artyom! Ah. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Here it is. Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter, no rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. 
Ура, хорошо прошла. А, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Look, look at the far stations. The freaking eat each other, sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast. You know, war there, war there is all that matters. That's that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Блин. Кого? Артём, кого? Вот он зап. Вот он зап. So, my friend. That's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artём. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is, Private. 